why are mediators helpful? I, I think it might be obvious, maybe not, but a lot of what getting through a divorce is, is that people don't understand the process, the decisions they have to make. Now, I'll have people call me then in when they schedule the consultation, it says we're looking for a mediator. And I know um, that they that's not what they mean. They think they need a mediator, but they don't. They just need someone to fill in the gaps of how this works. And that's what we do on the initial call. I'll have, I'll have that discovery session conversation with them to say, you know, what is it? Why do you think you need a mediator? Oh, we don't know how it works. Very basic. I can help you with that. And I don't call it mediation. To me, me sitting in a room or on a Zoom call where you two are going back and forth and you're having someone moderate or mediate the, the questions and kind of through a series of questions and answers, pushing you guys through to, to come to a result of, of an understanding and making a decision and an agreement on things. What I'm talking about as far as filling in the gaps, this is how community property division works. This is how, this is the decisions you have to make. You have to talk about all these different things so we can finalize your divorce. I don't call that mediation, but you know, usually that's 99% of the time. That's all my clients need. They're like, you're right. I don't need a mediator. We just needed to know how it works. Um, yeah. So the different types, we talked about the different types of mediators that they fill in the missing gaps of information and they help you get into an agreement. And the, uh, the last phase of number seven, the role of mediators is that they can kind of complement what I do. So two, two ways this happens. I have uh, mediators who were, who have mediated a divorce case for clients, and then they refer them to me to put them through the actual court process. Because mediators, generally speaking, won't handle the filings, uh, dealing with the court, and all that. Um, they'll they'll send them to me. Or let's say that I had a consultation, everything everything seemed like on the up and up, didn't think we we're gonna have any problems, and then we go to sign the settlement agreement, and uh, now there's a falling out or a disagreement on a particular issue, and you guys can't resolve it. Maybe I give you a couple of suggestions, and that doesn't help. And, and you're like, Tim, what do we do? Do we get attorneys? And I would say, no. Why don't you guys make an appointment with a mediator? Go hash that out. See if that can resolve it. Often it does, and then you come right back to me, and we we um, you know update the settlement agreement. You guys sign it, and you're done. So um, I do refer out to mediators. I have a whole list of them on my website. Um, if you're looking for a mediator. Um, and then generally if it's your client of mine and we're working together and you get stuck and I know what the issue is, is it financial related? Okay. CDFA is it custody related. I have a guy that, um, focuses on, on, on custody issues and helping you guys reach parenting plan and so forth. So, um, obviously that's another benefit in working with me. If you guys run into problems, 